So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video today, breaking down another story of a woeful decision by a once great video game company. Ooh. Not only from the emergence of the letter and the three month delay of its latest game, but also a muted reception to the recent release of the game Star Wars Outlaws. The following program contains. Naughty bits. <laughs> And speaking of naughty bits, ladies and gentlemen, I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Why? Because on one of my videos yesterday, I mistakenly said that Waiting for Godot was a Harold Pinter experience, as one viewer absolutely slapped me in the chops with. He or she said, well, actually, it's a Samuel Beckett play. So why did I think it was Harold Pinter? I have no idea. Proving once and all, yet again, the audience is smarter than yours, truly. Although, mind you, in an episode of Breaking Bad called The Fly, not to be confused with the U2 song of the same name, Jesse and Walter are stuck in their lab for the entire episode. And I think Vince Gilligan was definitely using that bottle episode to be a, a homage to Waiting for Godot. Or in the case of Walter and Jesse, they were just waiting to get the F out of the lab. But besides that, folks, I have two videos for you today, and they both have the same thing in common. Ubislop. Wow, when you see this story that I'm going to uncover for you today, <laughs> I just could not stop laughing. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. On today's episode of Kung Fu Hot Dog. Okay, you can come. <laughs> Are you coming? Kind of busy right now. And I'm coming for it, Ken. I'm coming for the fucking money, you piece of shit. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling... In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. This is the greatest show I've seen in my life. Duke Nukem likes this guy. by 1970s Robert Redford. <laughs> so here we go, folks. That parplace.com reports rumor, which always should be spelt with a, another U, by the way, Star Wars Outboards only sold <laughs> one million copies to date. <laughs> One million. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in a very woman-centered world. And Black with Wukong did how many copies in three days? Uh, exactly. Yeah, it was like 10 million or something. Something stupendously ridiculous. Because you know what? When there's a positive buzz about a game that goes around and everybody's genuinely excited, what do you think's gonna happen? We're all going to raid our digital or physical wallets and buy the game en masse, aren't we? A screenshot. I think this is one screenshot too many, guys. <laughs> For Star Wars. It is awful absolutely far what that is absolutely terrible the rumor comes from grant taylor hill at insider gaming who reports we have secured a current sales figure from sources close to the game can you even call it a game at this stage at the time of writing star wars outlaws just ticked over 1 million sales hang on i, I need to burp here for a minute <laughs> One million copies worldwide. I am talking about wider than my melon head right now. One million copies. That's absolutely not surprising. Why am I even surprised? As noted by Hill, Assassin's Creed Mirage reportedly sold five million copies after three months, which is not bad. Again, a bit of a slow burn, but fair enough. Oh my God. If I have to keep something... <laughs> Sorry, I've got to bring my camera down here. I, I just have to do this. I really have to. Oh, Let's do the Les Dawson face mug pose. 
<laughs> Holy shit. That is the most terrifying thing I've seen since Michael Myers from Halloween. Wow, we. Oh my god, it gets worse. This appears to be even worse than initial reports suggested. Games industry writer Christopher Dring noted that according to the UK sales charts, Star Wars Outlaws had done about half of Assassin's Creed Mirage. It is also clearly significantly lower than what the market analysts were predicting. Barclays' Nick Dempsey suggested that Ubisoft would sell around 5 million units back during the company's first quarter 2024 sales. I believe I said, does Nick know what he's talking about? Because he's clearly not a gamer. If you saw the piss poor quality of Star Wars Outlaws, Ryan McCaffrey, you know, the man that IGN brings in at the last minute to really give the viewer and the player some optimism. This is going to be a fantastic belter from the stables. And we all knew it was going to die a death in the quicksand ever so quickly. For more on Star Wars Outlaws, don't miss our exclusive 10 minutes of gameplay, as well as our behind the scenes look at how Nyx was created. <laughs> behind. That pretty much sums up Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, so what Dempsey goes on to say that in the first quarter and in the second quarter, you're kind of looking at estimates of around 200 to 230 million euros. I mean, dude, what was this guy actually thinking about? For the new release of Star Wars Outlaws, when I look at the $70 price tag and then assuming what you might get from it, which was absolutely nothing but a bug ridden fest of a game, I'm getting to around 5 million units, something in that sort of bracket. First of all, where could I be going wrong with what I was thinking? Secondly, are you just being pretty conservative in your guidance? Because I guess given the interest in that game, we might have what we thought would be more than 5 million units. Absolutely hysterical. The extremely low number makes sense given Ubisoft's recent press release because people are now suggesting they could be heading for possible bankruptcy. But again, folks, that's probably hyperbole on my part. The company also admitted that the cut was made as a reflection of decisions taken from Assassin's Creed Stados and the softer than expected launch for Star Wars Outlaws. Can somebody take Yves Jameau into the office, pull his trousers down, and do what they did to Kevin Bacon in Animal House. Thank you, sir. May I have another? It's also noted, additionally, despite solid ratings, listen, ratings don't mean jack shit if a game is absolutely dog water bird shit, right? And user scores across the first, partly, and epic stores that reflect an immersive and authentic Star Wars universe. Apart from Tabak or Sabak, what else was authentic about it? Nothing. Star Wars Outlaws initial sales proved softer than expected. It's not Ubi Slop, it's Ubi. Oh, it is Ubisoft. Yeah, so Ubi Softer had more than softer sales than they expected. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This Ijemo also added, our second quarter performance fell short of our expectations. Despite the fact that he or somebody sounding like him on an investor's call were so confident about Star Wars Outlaws doing so well, and quite clearly that was never the case. They knew, by the way, they had a shit game on their hands. The gameplay for our two highly anticipated upcoming premium titles, Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows, was not only praised by players and critics alike, but also highlighted the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine. Tons of criticism, I may add, about the facial likeness, if you even want to call it that, of Humbly Gonzalez. She who herself is an activist, which I found really disappointed. So thanks to Smash JT for making that video covering that subject. But again, 
it's all filled with when you read the rest of this article it's all filled with basically well we're just doing our best to steady the ship of ubisoft and quite clearly that ship is is going to be like the titanic it's going to go to the bottom of the ocean and uh, nobody's going to talk about it ever again when you think about the last far cry game like people say was the best one after three it was probably far cry five and that's really saying something isn't it but you know what i'm absolutely not surprised to see this i mean look look even this, this screenshot right here just looks goddamn awful it really does like hey i'm k Vez. nothing can hurt me i mean if i'm gonna play this game right i'll buy it for 20 bucks and i'll make sure that when i play it k Vez dies every single time i saw mauler or critical drinker playing they're doing a live stream of this game and i think it was mauler and he kept getting killed at a particular spot so so much for k Vez being this super invincible han solo female equivalent of nowhere near harrison ford's quality getting killed in the game on multiple attempts i thought that was so funny and of course guys you know i've i've got to say this and i'm just gonna say this again because i love to milk this to death like a pair of mommy milker titties hideo kojima just imagine him making star wars outlaws give him all the time he wants to make that game his female protagonist would make quiet from phantom pain look like a a beginner's sketch he would have come out with something amazing so they might have still used humbly gonzalez but my or actually i would have gone for margaret qualley uh, andy madal's daughter i would have used her again uh, for that game and i'll tell you what it would have been fantastic and again maybe the casting of a latina actress like gonzalez was a little bit on the nose you know because you got Navid Kavari as the narrative director and they worked together before on a previous I think it was Far Cry 6 they both worked on but just because you had a little bit of success with that game doesn't mean the save is going to translate over to Star Wars Outlaws I think it, it serves them right and in my follow-up video about Ubisoft and the other ongoing drama about them I can honestly say who it's not Ubisoft anymore it's who be soft but on that one ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this crazy video today make sure you give it a like make sure you slap that subscribe button and if i were you and if you were me you might want to return for the next video tune in next time space freaks and hear your dubri go ping in the next gripping installment of kung fu hot dog it's a very big game and we feel that people will really see how vast and complete that game is it's a really full triple quadruple a game that will deliver in the long run